yield curve shape mark this section is important okay from the understanding perspective what is yield curve shape first of all what is yield curve i'll just clean this and let us go to the yield curve logic so yield curve is basically when you map you have maturity on the y axis and and on the x axis you primarily have percentage so suppose for a particular maturity this is the rate this is the rate this is the rate okay so you can create a curve this curve is an yield curve because in a very simple language it talks about it talks about all the yield or the rates available for different maturity okay so the, we are primarily talking about that okay so yield curve now historically the yield curve is generally normal which basically means the short term rates over, over here and the long term rates are higher can we see the long term rates are slight higher than the short term rates this has been a normal behavior but you can also find a flat rate flat yield curve which means long term short term all rates are same okay you can also have a inverted yield curve that means negative yield curve where the short term rates are slightly higher than the long term rates okay now when why will this situation come into picture when the people over here are very worried about what is going to happen in the short term so they find the risk is very high then the rate of interest goes high okay so you can read the first paragraph over here and read this first paragraph i hope everybody has been able to read read that part now what is a parallel shift okay parallel shift simply means if i look at this yield curve if any one rate over here suppose if this rate it it has increased to this point suppose it has increased by 1% suppose then all the other rates will also increase this is called parallel shift okay similarly if this rate would have gone down over here then all the other rates would have gone down this is called as parallel shift okay so they have also given you a diagram explaining the parallel shift read this paragraph and look at this diagram this was the original curve now all the rates have gone up so everybody is impacted everybody is impacted in the same way and in the same direction okay they are moving in the same direction and by the same amount everyone this is then only the parallel shift is going to happen all good i hope everybody is reading let us go towards a non parallel shift what is a non parallel shift where the things are not happening in a similar way that means differing amount for example this was my original yield curve and now this has happened that means a long term rate has increased higher as compared to short term rate this is a non parallel shift this is a non parallel shift okay so they they are changing but everybody is not changing with the same amount okay now when we talk about non parallel shift there are two basic bifurcation that we have to worry about okay so that is twist yield curve twist that we are going to be doing first this is a very very interesting and you have to be very logical with what is happening you don't have to remember anything explicitly okay only certain names that you have to remember now when we talk about yield curve twist it can be flattening or it can be steepening okay now keep it very very simple i am first explaining you flattening suppose this is my original yield curve and if i am telling you the rates are increasing okay let us let us keep a straight line okay and if the rates are increasing when you when things are going to become flat 
can you guys realize that this that that means it is going to go towards the y axis rates are increasing but it is going to go towards the y axis is everybody okay with this part see when things are going to go flat it will fall down right and the rates are increasing that means it will look like this this is my new yield curve so whatever was the line it is increased but it has become flat okay now when this is happening okay do we realize that the short term rates has increased higher as compared to the long term rates okay right this is the first example within flattening let us look at the second example suppose this is my original yield curve now the rates are gone down but it has it has flattened so everything has gone down but still it has flattened so it basically means it will look it will look like this where my long term rates have fallen down more as compared to my short term rates is everybody okay with these two diagram this is second scenario in the first scenario rates increase but flattening happened in the second scenario rates decrease but flattening happened okay i want you to read this part okay and read this paragraph in fact read this entire paragraph and look at this diagram the first diagram which i have highlighted on the screen all good i hope everybody is seen the paragraph they have also seen the diagram now let us go to flattening part we have done the flattening sex structure okay read this part only this highlighted part the curve will flatten when the long term rate fall more than the short term rate we call it as bull flattener if i go to the example the long term rates has fallen higher faster than the short term rate we call it as bull flattener similarly if the short term rise rate rises more than the long term rate we call it as bear flattener so this is the example of bear so we have bull and bear we have just given you the example both the example all good we will now go to the steepening part So what is happening over here if suppose this is my original yield curve and if everything is increasing and everything is becoming steep when things are becoming steep they will move towards x axis sorry they will move towards y axis okay which is this so it will look like this it is increased but we see that the long term rates have increased higher than short term rate this is the first example if i want to show you one more example okay this is my original if things are falling and everything is becoming steep then it will look like this over here your short term rate has fallen more as compared to your long term rate this is your second example right the same thing is explained over here the curve will steepen when the long term rate rises more than the short term rate we call it as bear steepener long term rates are rising more and the short term rate can you see that the long term rates are rising more than the short term rate we call it as bear steepener when the short term rates are falling more than the long term rate we call it as bull steepener this is an example of bull you just have to remember the name rest the logic you just have to remember when you are when you are becoming flat you are falling towards the x axis when you are becoming steep and you are falling towards the y axis that is what you have to remember okay is everybody okay till here 
kindly read this entire part and mark this as star read this entire section and give me a quick confirmation so that we can go towards the sum all good so this is just a summarization so when things were flattening and things were falling it was it was called as bull flattener so you just have to remember this okay when the interest rate for falling and flattening is happening we call it as bull flattener you just have to remember this okay once you know this okay interest rate rising and flattening it has to be bear this has to be bear and this will be pulled right is everybody okay with this okay this is just a way to remember the part nothing else you just have to remember this this is going to be inverse this is going to be inverse once you have reached over here this is going to be inverse okay now let us go to the question let us go to the question an investor expects the upward sloping yield curve to flatten in the coming month okay with the long term rates falling and the short term rates rising okay this is investor a investor b expect the same structure but in the opposite direction see think about this if the long term rates are going to fall when the rates are going to fall the bond price will go up right because interest rate and bond prices is inverse relationship when the long term rates are falling the long term bonds will go up so you should ideally the investor a for short term and long term what should be his strategy so long term rates long term bonds are going to increase so he should buy the long term rates long term bonds basically okay and for short term bonds what should be he doing short term rates are going to increase so the short term bond prices will go down so he should sell is everybody okay see even if you don't remember that bull flattener and all it this is very logical right simple now what is going to happen with investor b okay investor b is saying everything is going to happen in an inverse part that means short term bonds and long term bonds now think about this what investor b is thinking that long term rates are going to increase when the long term rates are going to increase the bond price will fall so you should be taking short position similarly over here long position kindly cross check and read all good read that answer i'm assuming everybody is good till here okay taking you obviously everybody must have read this also taking you towards the butterfly shift okay now over here what is happening is see when we when we talked about flattening and steepening see our focus was this right that okay this is the original structure this is the original structure and now it is going either this or either that so what is the change is happening is long term short term but suppose change is happening like this this is my original 
and the change is happening like this. That means short term and long term has increased higher than the medium term. Okay. But and same thing can happen over here. This is called positive yield curve, yield butterfly shift, where the short term and long term are behaving in a similar way, but the medium term is behaving very differently. Okay. This is a positive butterfly shift. The negative butterfly shift will look like this. If this is your original curve, it will look like this. All good. This is negative. So only difference that we have highlighted is that the now short term and long term are behaving in a similar way, but the median term is not behaving in a similar way. Okay. I want you guys to read this part, this last part. And once you're done, give me a quick confirmation. Okay, great. Good to go. Perfect. Let us start with this. 54.3 quiz. A bond investor projects a decline of two-year rate from 3% to 5%, 2.5%, and a decline of 20-year rate from 6% to 4.5%. So what is the difference over here? 1.5 and 2, 0.5. So basically your long term rates are falling more. Long term rates are falling more. If you look at this is my original curve. And if long term rates are falling more, this is how it is happening. Right? So this is more than this. So first of all, this is flattening. And what is this flattening when the rates are falling? Is it bull flattening? Is it bull flattening, right? So answer has to be A. I've shown you the table. You can go to that table and look at that part. Okay. Let us go to the next question. 